Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm excited to share with you about 12 or 13 fragrances that get me compliments almost every time I wear them. I'm so excited, but before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be awesome to have you part of the community. And if you already are a part of this wonderful community, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. And without further ado, let's get into this. Now, before I share the fragrances with you, I just wanna talk about compliments for a second. You know, compliments, like some people, like they get tons and tons of compliments. I don't get tons and tons of compliments. I've been complimented on all these fragrances. Uh, and some of them I get compliments anytime I wear them. But that doesn't mean I get compliments daily. Some people do. I have started to spray quite a lot. So I think that's amped up the compliments because people can actually smell me before I didn't want to really be smelled like I was too shy. Um, but you know, some people are also, well, I don't care about compliments. Well, I, I wear perfumes for me for sure, but I love compliments. I don't care what, kind, like, I love it when people go, oh, you look great. Or I love it when people say, your makeup looks good. Or I love it when people compliment me on my, my fragrance or what I'm wearing. Like compliments make a person feel good. So I think it's fun to get compliments. <laughs> so the, I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. If you like compliments, it's totally all good. Let's get started on the fragrances. I have 13 here to share with you. Now, uh, what I find is the majority of them are feminine and quite a few of them are floral. So there are some that are a little bit more sweet and seductive, but overall the fragrances that get me compliments are kind of the more girly feminine fragrances. Maybe it's because they suit my personality better. I'm not sure, but let's just get into the list. First fragrance is Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. Uh, this one, it's, it's one that I wear more spring and summer, but really you could wear it all year round. So Dolce Garden, uh, it's got, it, it's got kind of, it, honestly, it's got a nectar like vibe. So it smells like, um, you know, if, if you were on some alien, uh, kind of magical paradise type planet, uh, and they had this gorgeous, uh, coral like flower with kind of a turquoise middle. And it had this delicious nectar that was so sought after that it was like really expensive. That's what this smells like to me. So it smells, uh, there's a coconut, there's uh, magnolia in this one. It smells a little bit waxy somehow. Uh, it's, it's syrupy. It's, it's slightly fruity, but it's just sweet and decadent. It's just gorgeous. In the, the high heat, this one may be a little bit cloying, uh, but I just love this fragrance. Definitely gets me compliments. Next fragrance that gets me compliments from my husband when I put it on is Scandal A Perry. This one's pear. Uh, there's, I think, jasmine in this one and a honey, of course. Uh, got a lot of honey in it, but it's not as overpowering and indolic is the original Scandal. This one, uh, because of the pear, it stays a little bit kind of fresh almost. Uh, definitely you get that pear. This one's slightly sparkling to me somehow as well. Uh, gorgeous fragrance. Definitely enjoy the honey. It's a little bit sexy, but more flirty than sexy, I would say. Uh, really fun fragrance to wear. Next fragrance that gets me compliments is Untamed my Greek lover. Now this one, uh, the star of the show in this one is, oh, is orange blossom. Uh, there's orange blossom in this one, but there's also some sweet fruitiness. There's grapes in this, which I think is really unique. Uh, it's, it's got a little bit of, I think there's like cypress in it. So it smells to me, I think there's maybe lemon in this one as well. Smells to me like I would be, um, standing on a hillside in Greece, overlooking the ocean, uh, near like a, a lemon orchard, let's say. So I'm smelling kind of sweet, ripe, sunny fruit. 
uh, with a little bit of like cypress or balsamic aspects in the background, a little bit of uh, the, the sea breeze air, uh, and then this gorgeous orange blossom coming to play. It is such a gorgeous fragrance. This could be worn all year round, but I tend to enjoy wearing it more spring, summer, in the warmer months. It smells just so relaxing to me. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. And yeah, compliment getter. And just so you know, all the fragrances are always linked down below if you're interested. Uh, the next fragrance is Modest Deux by Afnan. Now this one, this one is reminiscent to La Nuit Tresor, but honestly, I like this one better. I think it's richer. I think it's got a little bit of spiciness to it that uh, La Nuit Tresor doesn't have. Uh, and it's a little bit longer lasting or better performing. I uh, really love La Nuit Tresor. And this one is different, so I'm glad I have both of them. This one, um, there's a bit of cherry in it. Smells a little bit chocolatey. Smells a little bit, I don't know, somehow like like chocolates, like chocolate covered fruit, like a chocolate covered cherry a little bit, but a really dense, boozy, rich cherry uh, with some really decadent dark chocolate or almost fudginess. Um, yeah, I just think this one's beautiful. I think there's rose in this one too. I find this one to be very sexy. Uh, this one, although it's a little bit deeper, a little bit more seductive smelling, uh, I think that this one would perform really well in the summer as well and can't wait to try it. Next compliment getter, I'm not going to talk about it long because I've mentioned it quite a few times. I, I mention it like nonstop lately. Lextas by Nina Ricci, jammy rose with some caramel in there. There's raspberry as well. Absolutely decadent. This is feminine, classy, a little bit sensual, a little bit of naughtiness. So it's like this beautiful feminine woman. She's dressed very classy, and yet there's just a hint of mystery and a little bit of naughtiness there. That's Lextas. This next fragrance is probably my biggest compliment getter. It's one that I actually don't wear very often for whatever reason, but when I do wear it, I inevitably get a compliment. And it is Elisab Le Parfum, just the original Le Parfum. This is an orange blossom bomb. When I smelt it, I thought to myself, why am I not wearing this more often? It is such a beautiful fragrance. It's very classy, very put together, a uber feminine. Now, Ellie Saab, I believe they uh, primarily make wedding dresses. So these fragrances, uh, Ellie Saab, Ellie Saab in white, uh, they're kind of, uh, you know, they're kind of thinking from a bridal perspective. I get that with this one. White florals, quite heady. There's a bit of honey in this one and a bit of cedar. So although it's heady, although it's very like white floral centric, the honey and the cedar just kind of ground it, sweeten it up a little bit. It's absolutely beautiful. Like I put it away for the winter and now I'm really regretting it. But anyway, this one gets me a compliment every time I put it on, so highly recommend. Next fragrance, this one honestly gets me a compliment every time I put it on as well. Maybe because it's so in your face. La Vie Belle. Like, I know people don't necessarily like this one, but if you want a compliment getter, this is going to get you compliments. So it has uh, pear, there's black currant in this one, patchouli, vanilla, I think there's praline in this. It's a mosh of notes. It's very sweet. It's a little bit of a hot mess somehow. Uh, nevertheless, whatever people pick up, and definitely men compliment me on this one. Uh, definitely the guys like it. Uh, they, it registers as sweet, delicious, edible goodness to guys. So La Vie Belle, compliments every time. Now, one that I do not understand why I get compliments from, but do, uh, is, uh, Angel Nova. So this one, uh, it's raspberry. Now, when I smell it off the nozzle, it just smells beautiful. So you get this raspberry, sweet, uh, lychee, rose. When you spray it on, what I get more so is the Akigala wood, which is like a synthetic patchouli from what I understand. So I get a very tart raspberry, slight rose, and Aki Gala wood. Uh, very long lasting, 
But what I'm thinking when they're smelling me, they're smelling what I smell just when I do this. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. But uh, yeah, for what, for better, for worse, this one gets me compliments uh, when I wear it. It could be because it's just such a powerhouse like Le Vie Bell. Uh, nevertheless, this is one that gets compliments. Still on the fence about it, but ow, ow, oh, okay. This bottle could be used as a weapon. Um, for whatever reason, just smelling it here, like I want to slather myself in it, but I, I know that, I know that it's not going to smell like that on me. Oh, anyway, Angel Nova. Next fragrance gets me compliments every time is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Again, I've talked about this recently, so I'm not going to belabor the point. It's sweet, uh, just a gentle kind of sweet orange, not highly citrus, kind of more uh, like a very, very ripe, juicy orange, uh, but no tartness to it at all. Uh, balanced perfectly with these florals, balanced perfectly with the vanilla and the patchouli uh, and the woodiness that comes out as this one dries down. Get 12 plus hours on this fragrance. This fragrance makes me feel special. Every time I put it on, I feel feminine and I feel very, very special somehow. So I love this fragrance. Next fragrance that gets me compliments when I wear it is Absolutio by Navitas Parfums. Um, I borrowed the bottle from Hesse, had a sample, it's all gone, but it smells a little bit like Baccarat Rouge, but a spicier, a little bit deeper, exciting version to me. Uh, so I love wearing that fragrance. And whenever I have it on, if someone comes in for a hug, I don't know if it projects very much, but whenever someone comes in for a hug, I get, ooh, you smell good. So uh, beautiful fragrance. One of my favorite fragrances, seriously, of all time. Like I am in love with that fragrance. So Absolutio by Navitas Parfums such a gorgeous fragrance. Gets me compliments. Next fragrance that gets me a compliment almost every time I wear it is La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This one is juicy, delicious, decadent, cooked pear, spices, sweet, very sweet. This is a pretty fragrance. So to me, if I want to smell pretty, a little bit flirty, this would be the fragrance that I would put on. Uh, it's just gorgeous. It projects beautifully. And yeah, whenever I have it on, someone compliments me. Next fragrance that gets me compliments is Idol Nectar uh, by Lancome. Uh, talked about this a ton too. Definitely prefer this one over the original Idol. To me, this is Idol's younger, more vivacious, more outgoing uh, sister. A little bit more joyful, a little bit more exciting, a little bit more uh, whatever. Like this is just a little bit more of everything. Idol's fine. The nectar, just so good. Just like Garden smells like a nectar. To me, nectar is the perfect name for this. It's sweet, it's syrupy, it's delicious. It's got rose, vanilla, caramel, popcorn. The popcorn warms it up. Some people can't smell the popcorn. I smell the popcorn big time in this as it dries down. Long lasting on me, like I get a good seven hours out of this at least. It projects fantastically. And yeah, when I have this on, I get, ooh, you smell good. And last fragrance that gets me compliments is Florence. Now, someone recently in the comments, I'm not sure if I've responded yet, that it smells like beer. I totally get that. So this smells to me more apple juicy, but me, but I've always felt like apple juicy and beer kind of smell similar. Uh, beer just not as sweet. This is sweet, sweet, sweet. So to me, it smells a little bit apple-y. Uh, I don't think there's any apple in this. I think it's got lemon. There's supposedly watery notes in this one. Smells very similar to Rose's Vanille by Mansara. So if you like Rose's Vanille, but you want something a little more affordable, this is a great option. Uh, this one, long lasting, like 12 hours. Very, very sweet and syrupy. Uh, rose, absolutely, but kind of a tart, tart, sweet, uh, tart, sweet, rose uh definitely smells a little bit boozy somehow uh or like i said apple juicy so this one definitely gets me compliments super powerhouse major projector 
awesome fragrance, Florence by Swiss Arabia. Those are the ones that gave me compliments. Uh, what about you? What are your highest compliment getters? Please leave them in the comments down below. Uh, and other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.